The Blender Build add-on has gotten a huge user interface update guys and I'm very very excited about this. There is more to it but I'll just go over the two main features that have been implemented in this update. The first one is in the menu, in the file menu, like if you want to export a file or to open a project, we got a separated IFC project, new IFC project and open IFC project. This used to be before here in import. It was very cumbersome not very intuitive especially for new users right so now this is much much nicer to have it right here and you can just click on this and just create a new project let's say a metric project in millimeters and there you have it as simple as that now let me start again from scratch and now let me show you the other thing and the other thing is this what you see right here it's unbelievable now finally we got some dedicated project tools we got in the scene tab in blender we got all the things that we need actually because before this might not seem much to you i promise you it's huge because before it used to be in many of these icons and it was so difficult to find what you were looking for but now we have everything in here and you can just choose by going here in this list clicking on this text right here and you'll be able to go to whatever you want as you can see by default before you create or load an ifc model then you will not be able to see this because you cannot use this but what you see already that is not grayed out like in this case we have the project overview of course we need this data before we load the project and we also can use these things which are from the quality and coordination tab so we can actually run this without loading any model because these are like for example ifc tester right if you want to run an ids you don't need actually to load the model you just click here and load the ifc file and the ids file this is not new this was from before but now it's more obvious right because you know that oh i can do only this all right so these are the features these are all the tabs available right here and as we can see we have project overview object information this used to be very spread away information i'm telling you i'll i'll show you very briefly geometry and materials drawings and documents it's very very cool that we have it here now services and systems structural analysis construction scheduling facility management quality and coordination and blender properties now don't get me wrong this is just the start most probable these things are going to be updated at some point but it's going to just be better and improve right as of right now we can see that it's quite difficult to know which tab we are in if we don't read here the icon is not very clearly highlighted here but gorgeous is already working on an update for this he sent me some animations and he will make this easier visible and uh, that's going to help now if i go here and i just create project create a project you will see before you were supposed to click you would have like 15 icons here and you needed to go all of this just here and you did not know what they mean like it was not possible but here is very clear now if you click here you will know and of course by the way gorgeous will also implement the fact that when you hover over an icon you will be able to see that description what that tab is actually for right because right now you don't see it and if you are in the project overview then you will not be able to see what is this set the current property tab but i don't know what's that it looks like materials but somebody might not know right and it's cool that we are going to have that text there and we will know okay i hover here okay this is the quality and coordination stuff right okay that's it guys i'm very very excited by this this was implemented after the second month release so actually last week and i'm very 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 excited about this this will help a lot especially newcomers and people who are, are going to use the blender beam add-on for the first time now it's much more intuitive to start using it thank you for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment to tell me if you like this new feature and if you are as excited as i am